Howdy, 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 Zach Scott here with another quick Source Filmmaker tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys something else that's useful for scene building. So, a uh, good friend of mine, Jim Bomb -bom -bom -bom, uh sorry, Jimbo, M bleh, Jimbo MCB, uh, has uh, done up a sweet model that should be useful for a lot of people for scene building. Uh, I'll show you the model now. He will be releasing it once we have confirmed that it is not broken in some way. Uh, but I'm just going to show you this model, and then I'm going to show you how to use it to make floors and walls and ceilings and uh, any sort of thing that you need for uh, your Source Filmmaker films. We kind of built this, well, Jimbo built this model uh, for just customizability. As you can see, it's a very basic uh, flat plane, you know, the simplest model you can really imagine. It's one-sided um, for a certain reason, which I'll get into later, but it has to do with using this to create reflections, I believe. Um, but it is a it is just a big flat plane. Uh, you might be asking why this is useful. Um, well, we can put whatever material we want on it. So uh, floors, walls, you know, wooden floors, marble floors, metal floors, whatever we do. And I will show you how to do that in this tutorial in a minute here. Uh, I just want to show you the model itself and what cool features it has. So first off, this model has 16 different skin slots. So you can use this to create quite a few different floors in a single scene without needing anything else. Um, but the really cool thing is uh, the body groups. So the body groups on this model allow us to resize it. So it has a smaller 64 bit, uh, 64 unit body group all the way up to crazy, uh, you know, something like uh, 1024, you know, get something pretty big there. Uh, even all the way out to a massive uh, 18, 192 8192 yeah so you can see how you would be able to use this model on a black void or something to create quite a few different types of scenes i'm already thinking quite a bit about it it's got me a bit excited uh we also have added flipped versions of this uh so flipped 64 128 etc which are just the exact same model but um with reversed normals which is a uh, useful for a very specific function in uh, creating reflections, like I mentioned earlier, because as you know, when you're making a reflection, you want it to be flipped over, right? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set that back to hidden and set this back to small. And uh, I'm going to show you how to turn this into, let's say, a wooden floor. So I have this model here. I'm just going to drop it down. Um, right now, this model doesn't have any skins assigned, so I'm going to just start assigning skins so that when this is releasable, uh, it'll have a whole bunch preset, and they'll all be Team Fortress skins so that everybody has them, but okay. So I know the model uses textures in the texture panel folder, which it installed too, so I'm going to have that open. So these are all uh, VTF files. Um, actually, these are all VMTs even, so uh, that actually makes our job even easier. Um, but so if you're not familiar with VMT, it's uh, how Valve records material information. So if I open this up, it'll take a second here. Ah, error! Oh, uh, Jimbo, your your material has an error. What? Oh, oh man. Good gosh. Oh, what have you done, Jimbo? Oh, no. If this doesn't work, this is going to totally derail the entire tutorial. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is really, really funny. Okay, I'm going to pause this and yell at Jimbo. Alrighty, so I had a quick talk to him and I uh, went and I fixed the material myself. Uh, there was a, a issue with the uh, parameters inside of it, so I just made a duplicate of my own and uh, gave it the same name. So... Anyway, the point that I was making was um, inside of these files is just basic text information which Valve uses to tell what model, what material goes where. Um, the fact that these are all text means that we can edit all of these planes uh, without actually having to go into uh, an image editor itself. Uh, pretty much what I'm going to show you here is how to grab any texture from Team Fortress or Portal or Half-Life 2 or whatever and just slap it onto this plane using... Uh, just the text editor. Um, the program, you will need a VTF edit for this. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to install that. Um, you'll just have to go and, and find a different tutorial for how to set that up. But once you have VTF edit open, uh, when you open one of these, what you will see is uh, just a bit of text information here like this. So um, there's a couple things to note here. Uh, light map generic, I'm just going to get rid of that. So vertex lit generic. Um, 
these are basically just going to look like uh, this sort of format. So they're going to have the shader up top, which is vertex lit generic. If that's water or something, it will be it'll say water. If it's like transparent, it'll say transparent. If it's unlit, it'll be unlit. Um, and then inside of here, you'll have brackets which contain all of the information within this VMT. Uh, so base texture, that's going to be what the actual image of the texture is. So um, just the opaque uh, image of it. Uh, keywords, we don't need those for my purposes, but I mean, you can leave them in if you want. Detail, that's for detail maps. I'm not going to get into those. Uh, uh, pretty much, you'll, you'll see things in here and you'll start to notice patterns with if you just open up different materials as to what sort of does what here. Um, but anyway, what I want to do is I want to grab this material and I want to make it a brick floor so that I have a brick floor to start off my scene build. Or maybe a wooden floor, sorry, that's a little easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and open to blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to go and open up my Source Filmmaker uh, directory uh, here. It ha Mine has a lot more folders than yours might, um, but that's okay. Mine's like uh, th three, 400 gigs right now. It's pretty big. Um, anyway, I'm just going to open up uh, Team Fortress, and I'm just going to do a quick search for wooden floor, or just floor, actually. I'm going to do a search for floor. So when I search in floor for uh, Team Fortress, this will bring me up all the materials and models that use that name. So, uh, ooh, look, number one is wood floor. I'm going to open this up and just see what it is. So this is, these are the material information. This looks for wood floor 01. So if I do a search for wood floor 01, I can see what that looks like. Wood floor 01. So, yeah, the material I grabbed, it, it has two parts. Okay, so... Another little lesson about materials is uh, and textures within source is that each texture and material is based basically two parts. There's the VTF file, which is the texture right here, which you can see, and then there's the VMT, which you're already familiar with. And then here within the VMT, you can see the reference where it points to the uh, texture file. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, all you need to do to make the uh, wooden floor is to grab all of the information from our wood floor material and then go back into our plane, in this case zero, and just paste it in. Uh, you'll notice that I left out the shader here. That's because by default, uh, the material that I'm using is made for use in a map, which is not good for us. We want it to be used in a model. So always use uh, vertex lit generic uh, and don't use light map generic. Um, so yeah, all I have to do is save that out and then open up Source Filmmaker. I'm gonna make sure this is set to uh, skin zero, okay. And I'm just going to reload the materials. So the check, uh, the command for that is mat reload all materials. And I'm just going to hit enter. That'll take a second to think. And it'll look like it's not responding, but it'll go in a second here. Because it's just reloading every material. And boom, our wooden floor is here. So awesome. Let's uh, let's keep adding. So let's uh, let's make a wall now. So I'm just going to go into uh, my textures for uh, texture panel. I'm gonna open up uh, texture one. Whoops, that'll be broken because of it was broken. So instead, I'm gonna copy zero and save you as one. And also, I guess, put you in the right folder. Crap, all right, game, custom content, um, materials. Jimbo, 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 I think you're Sorry, this is boring. There we go, texture panel. And I'm gonna resave you as one, so done. Okay, so this material is now one. And let's get a wall. So going back to Team Fortress, I'm gonna go back, go into uh, materials this time, and do a search for wall. I wonder what kind of walls I'll find. So uh, let's see what this wood wall is. Mm. Now nah, we already have wood. How about uh, this wall? Oh, that kind of wall. How about one of you guys? Whoops, that's not useful. Let me sort these out by type. View details. Type. Here we go, wallpaper. Let's have some wallpaper. Yeah, that sucks. How about, <laughs> let's try a, a wood wall, wall, wall 16. Oh, this wall has a giant hole in it. Crap. Man, all these very specific walls. There we go. That one I'll do. So, wall 13. So, I'm just going to find the material file for wall 13. 
and uh, here we go. Open her up. Copy everything except the shader. Go back over to one and paste it in. Save that out. Make a copy of my texture panel. Set the skin to one. Oop, <laughs> there's Jimbo's default skin there. And uh, reload the materials. And let's see what happens. And uh, here it goes. Oh, and now we have a corrugated metal wall. Awesome. So, uh, as you can see, it's pretty basic. You can use this model and uh, technique to just build yourself whatever size thing you want. And, of course, we can make these bigger and uh, smaller and make just crazy stuff out of them. Boom. Yeah, check that out. So, you know, you can see how you could easily build buildings out of this. You know, make walls, ceilings, roofs, uh, ground, crazy stuff. Hey, stop going inside and outside. Uh, and there you go. And I think I'm done.